Bienvenue à Paris. Welcome to Paris 1927. I'm in search of a fantastic beast. Unfortunately, I know just where to find one. Desperate. Desperate. I'll just get a taxi. So, Eddie, great to see you again. Lovely I should say too. bonjour. Ah, bonjour. We're in Paris, of course, the Ministry of Magic. We're awash in the our Ministry nouveau. Ministry of Magie. The Ministry yeah, of yeah. Magie. You You're go. in your tweed and I'm rocking double denim. I'm yeah. feeling the odd one out. Yeah, no, yeah I'm new, still in this tweed, which was brutal in the first part of the, film, uh, of the shooting, which was in um, July. And now as we move into winter, I'm grateful beyond grateful for m many layers of tweed. For the warmth. Yeah. For the warmth. Yeah. Uh, incredible amount of warmth uh, for the first film. When we first met, of course, uh, back then, mm. uh, first night nerves. But yeah. that's all gone now because, of course, it was embraced by the Harry Potter community. Yeah. Um, I mean, always nerves, Richard. <laughs> always. Um, you always sort of, uh, you know, you always... I, what, what happens when you do the first one, and it was so thrilling that people um, seem to really get behind the film, but you then want to kind of make it better and um and so it's been exciting this one actually and what the what joe um has created is a script that it kind of takes qualities from the first film but it takes it in such a different direction that it's been it's been really compelling to shoot is she down here a lot because i would feel like it was my mother coming up to yes. school all the time you know <laughs> very hands-on i can imagine because obviously this is her vision it's down to you sir to bring it to life yeah she is She's here more this time than she was on the last time, on the last film. I mean, the first film, when she came, the sort of set would go into sort of meltdown and we would all turn into sort of children desperately seeking approval. Uh, and, but now um, Jo's come more often this time and it is wonderful because you do get, she has this amazing capacity to write scripts that take you to a completely different place and with a, like, a sort of this imagination that you can't, it's endlessly surprising and you can't really get your head around but she also allows you a freedom to play with stuff so it's great when she's here that you can sort of go up with little ideas and say can I try this or can I uh, try you know and she's so receptive to that well it's just great to be pushing the narrative forward especially in the light of uh, Johnny Depp yeah as Grindelwald and you're on the trail yeah of him of course well, how is Mr down. Depp how, do you know what? I actually haven't seen him yet because he arrives today. So, uh, so, but we've been shooting for a few months, and and there's been a big drum roll to Johnny's arrival. Um, so I got to shoot one day with him last time, and it was always so top secret. I mean, the thing was extraordinarily top secret. Um, that I only got to spend a few hours with him, but I'm yeah really excited for him to come back. He's a lovely man. Jude Law is Dumbledore. He is. Okay. Got to love that man. Oh, there's a twinkle yeah, in your yeah, eye yeah. there. Well, there's a twinkle in, in his eye, which right. is the most important thing. And that's the one to watch. That's the one to watch, because I think that's kind of what, the, what Dumbledore has. And, and also, there was a debonair quality to Dumbledore that um, Jude's gone in spades. And, and also, I've, it's, it's weird, this um, profession, because when you start out, you, it's a, you, you go from job to job, and you don't really know people, and it feels a bit... Um, sort of nomadic and after having done it for a wee while now you sort of you make friends and Jude has been a pal for a few years um, socially and it's just great to get to work with him. So. I'm not sure how much you can tell us about the plot, uh, clearly very little at this stage but... Uh... They've basically given us this list of things yeah. that we're not allowed to talk about and they're in bold and they're triple underlined and they're all I can think of to talk about. Basically right. it's this it's horrific one of not... thing <laughs> where all I want to talk about. <laughs> at least yeah. one of them wasn't don't talk to Good Morning Britain's yeah. Richard Arnold. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. Grindelwald and Dumbledore's relationship of course as JK has hinted is, is quite fraught, yeah. a sort of love-hate relationship, <clears throat> yeah. themes that we're going to explore in this film. Yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, their sort of relationship she's spoken about, their, um, their relationship when they were younger, their love for each other, their, and, and then the complication and, um, and, comp and they're being sort of torn apart in some ways. Um, and so, yeah, definitely on this film you have these two polar opposites um, but, uh, that are connected by a, a great bond and sort of Newt finds himself in the middle somewhere <laughs> totally yeah, sort of not so knowing what the hell's going on. Basically it's me in between Piers and Susanna on Good Morning Britain, there you go, right? There Absolutely. You go. I feel your pain, young man. <laughs> Joy for Harry Potter fans. Hogwarts, we've obviously mentioned the Ministry of Magic yeah, um, yeah. coming back, but uh, Hogwarts a revisit, we're Hogwarts told. Hogwarts a revisit. Come I mean, on, that that's was, amazing. Do you know what? It's, it's mini me in Hogwarts um, as a, a, a lovely actor um, playing young Newt. So I didn't actually get to visit Hogwarts, um, but I may have crept into the sets when they were doing it because the, 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 the Potter fan in you is, I just, I've just got to go and see what the dark arts classroom looks like. And, um, 
and and it it was pretty special. Yeah. Having a young daughter as well. I mean, this is a big commitment for you. There are five films. We're talking a decade out of your life, and we've talked about any reservations you might have had before mm. committing to something like that. Clearly, there are none now. But you're creating this fantastic world that Iris is yeah. going to grow up and embrace as well. I hope so. I mean, I, but 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 the uh, but the interesting thing is, is people get saying, yeah, but, you know. It, it, because you've got a child, and I'm like, the, these films are going to get pretty intense. I think. I think um, where Joe's taking them, there is going to be quite. So I'm not sure she's going to be watching it for a while. I just hope all like all like the CG and stuff, all that stands up the test of time. When she's watching it when she's 15, she's like, what? Oh, sure, we're watching 17D now, <laughs> like 2D. What are you thinking? Of? Very quickly before I let you go, Eddie, I'm going to yeah. test you on your oh, fantastic beast. Now I'm just hoping that you can test. see these uh, from here, okay? Yeah. Right. And if I don't know what it is, I'm just going to claim blindness. Yeah, yeah. Of course you are. Yes, yeah. indeed. Right. Much like my good self with my yeah. bins on today. Okay. Yeah. Can you name this fantastic? Is that an alchemy? It's a swooping evil. Oh, no, that's it is not indeed. true. It's, it's, it's a swooping evil, I've been told. I promise you it's not true. You promise it's not true. I actually promise you that's not true. I'm going to do a little bit <laughs> of a turn e now the, on my producer. The swooping evil. I love yep. this. I think your producer screwed your own. The swooping evil was the one in the last thing. He was right. a little, um, you know, he looked like a chestnut almost that I flung out. Right. He turned into a kind of vicious butterfly. That was my impression. That went well. Yeah, this is going well. Um, what about this one? Oh, was, uh, oh crap horn. Thunderbird, I'm told. What? Oh! Okay. That could be right. Could be I mean, right, right. You're going to give me that one. Okay, um, oh, this one, come on. Oh, uh, Niffler, yeah. Niffler, yeah, yeah, my personal favourite. Yeah, and uh, this one? Uh, Demi, guys. Thank you very yeah. much, we're almost there. That's and good. do you recognise these fantastic feet? <laughs> fantastic feet and where to find them? Yes. On a red carpet? No, they're mine. They are yours are when they? you won the Oscar. Oh, I'm wow. assuming the gong is on eBay, but the feet, the you feet. kept the shoes, right? <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, Thank feet? you for being such a great Lovely sport, to see mate. you, mate. I'm off to sack my entire production team. There you go, done. And having seen this, I'd sack yours too. Very <laughs> shoddy, Ed. <laughs> Lovely to see you, mate. Thank you, darling. You're a star. Wonderful. Thank Come you here. very much. Thank you very much.